Okay, hello. How are you? Okay. So, my name is Nomine. Um, I've been Nomine for five years. Before that, I was Outrage Drum and Bass for 15 years. So I started Nomine quite recently. So, before it was Drum and Bass, and now I make anything with bass, and bass in it. So, it doesn't matter to me what genre it is. My label right now, Nomine Sounds, we release dubstep, grime, jungle, drum and bass, techno, everything. We've had six vinyl releases now, and I've just signed a release from Slimzy on Boylan. Um, we've had Macabre Unit, we've had Digital, we've had many different artists in different genres. Can I interpret a bit? Sure. <laughs> I Eto, you just want to raise your hands. Eto, I'm going to give you a little えー、よろしくお願いします。ありがとうございます。え、ノミニーという名前ではこれをこれやっていて、えっと、その前はアウトレイジという名前で15年ほど活動していました。で、え、ノミニーサウンドという名前でやられたのがすごい最近のことです。
going to do is we're going to work down before we work across. And this is called the boiling pot. So we arrange all of our ideas downwards. So we, we're like collecting the ingredients before we cook the meal. So we don't arrange, we just work down, work down, work down. あの、先に色々な色で So we have a two bar loop at the moment. See this loop, two bars, so we go two. One. So when we before we arrange, we work down. So we keep adding, adding different elements, drums, bass, vocals, sounds, and we mix and we balance as we go along before we Arrange, which is working across. Ah. So, yeah. Uh, so, so we'll have like maybe a two-bar loop with maybe 20, 30 instruments. Okay, so now we have a kick and a snare sound. Everything I do is in MIDI. I don't use any loops. I mean, so I'm just adding one element at a time. Sometimes the most simple sounding tracks can have 20 different drum sounds. So sometimes my tracks sound quite simple, but they have like 20 different drum sounds to make um, a rhythm section. And then we, again, if we have each drum in individual tracks, we can mix them and treat every sound differently. Because if we put some reverb on the snare, we may not want to reverb the kick. So we have that individual control over all of the layers. That's why I work in individual sounds. あの、1つ1つのサウンドにま、注力していって、その、まとめてリバーブを吐けたりとかするようなことがないようにします。So, I like to use a lot of ethnic Eastern sounding drums, hand drums, because they're quite musical and you can tune them. They almost play like music. So I like to tune my drums into the scale that I'm working in. For example, if I work in F minor, I will tune my drums into a different note from the scale. え、その時はえっと楽器のスケールに注意しています。例えば F-minor で、えっと、曲あの、ドラムを組んでいる時は、え、パーカッションも F-minor に合わせて上げたり下げたりしています。
Now I'm pitching the drums down. I like my drums to be thick. So to get thick sounding drums, I pitch them down. I don't have too much in the high frequency. I don't have a high pitch snare. I will have the snare, snare quite low and I will have hi-hats and rides for the high frequencies. So I'm just checking the key of the drums to make sure they're hitting in F minor. So I'm going to tune them down. hitting F, which is the root note, and then we have the second one hitting A, so that's not in the scale, so let's go to a different note. Sometimes I will layer drums with drum machines, but I like to use a lot of ethnic, eastern, kind of Japanese, Indian, Chinese types of sounds because they're very musical. 
あの私はあのすごいこうオーガニックで、まあ、有機的なあのサウンドを作る,作るのが好きです、まあ、時にはエレクトロニックの,あのドラムマシンのサウンドを組み合わせるけど、まあ、東洋的だったり日本的だったり中国的だったりする音をあ運びます。
maybe five or six five or six different base options. I never go for the first option. It's good to just, especially with base, I'm very particular. The base has to be right. So I never just go for the first idea. travel quite a lot, I like to, I have to make music while I'm traveling. And for me, if I make a track on an aeroplane or in a hotel, I need to know that when I play it in the club that night, it's going to be okay. So as a guideline, if, if my kick peaks at minus 13, so the peak level of the kick is minus 13, and the peak level of my sub bass is minus 9, I can then Decorate everything else around it, and in the club it will sound okay. If it kicks uh, minus level 13 and the bass minus 9. If it peaks, so for example, right now I'm peaking minus 12, that's okay. And then my sub bass. That's a good balance to start off with, and then I can just put things around it, and it will sound okay. あの、飛行機の中とかホテルでも曲を作ることがあるんですけど、それ以上の場合にクラブでプレイしなきゃいけない。そういう時にま、どのようにしてあのクラブでちゃんと鳴っているかどうかっていうのを頭の中で考えられ
So that's bass option number one, with a, just a wobble bass. Um, it's always important to have, let the bass be a bass. For example, if you have a sound like this. <laughs> like this. What we need to do is take the bass out of that sound and then have another version underneath with just the bass. And we layer the two. That will give you individual control. Um, yeah. ベースの中に2つのえ、2つを So I'll show you how I made this bass. So the MS-20 is a famous synthesizer, and in that synth you can find this sound. So what we're going to do now is give this sound some movement, some modulation, just to kind of make it move and sound more interesting. So the way we do that is we're going to apply a low frequency oscillator to create some movement. So we're going to control the filter cutoff with a low frequency oscillator. え、ロープ、ロープリクエンシーのえっと、教えたオーサシテイクんですけれども、指、え、ワットインサートポン、カット、カット。so, so without it, we have Okay, so then we have um and we can open the filter here. We can start it low. Try not to use presets because then it's personal to me. It's my sound. I made it. Nobody else has that sound. Okay, so that's that's another bass sound. I'm going to show you another option for the wobble bass. Again, 
we're going to use the sine wave, but this time we're going to add a glide. So the note will start and it will glide. This is how I made the bass for a track of mine called Blind Man. So, ooh, that's the glide. So we go low. Ooh, just gives it some attitude, some personality. So we want to give it a wobble again, but this time we're not going to press two notes. We want to press one note. So we're going to control that wobble with a tremolo plugin. So we can change the speed of the tremolo of the of the wobble. And then let's play something in. Thank you. 
because the LFO is inconsistent, we need to bounce that down and then uh, a couple of times make a couple of repeats and find a version of it we like. So we just bounce it like this. So we can take the one we like. No bass in this, so we're going to take the bass out so it doesn't clash. Again, we've already got a bass, we don't need another bass. So we can add some distortion. A guitar amp is always really good, something like um, something like this, distortion to make it crunchy. Okay, then we have, so, the, so now we have two bass options. Now we're going to go for number three. So let's move this here. And we're just going to use an 808 bass, which is a classic bass line in many genres, especially for jungle and drum and bass. We can take it into half time drum and bass. Especially if we add some sample break beats. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's no loops. Everything you have 100% control. Because now, if I have a break beat and the snare drum is too loud, I'm not going to compress it. I'm just going to turn turn the snare down here. Compression is evil unless you know how to use it correctly. And please do not use compression to make something louder. So, now we go back into... Called parallel pros uh, parallel compression to make your drums thicker without compressing the main signal. So we want our drums to be organic, sound dynamic. We don't want to compress them and squash them, but we might want the sound of compression. So we're going to parallel compress.
So the first thing you want in your chain is a compressor. And it's a good idea to use a FET style compressor because this will help maintain the transients. FET is a good compressor that um, doesn't affect too much the, the start of your sounds. Okay, so what we're, what we're looking for is we're going to send the kick only for now. Each sound will be sent to the compressor individually. And we're looking for about 10 dB of compression. So when that hits minus 10, that's what we're looking for. No, just the kick drum. We can send all of our drum sounds. So we want a ratio between 8 and 12 somewhere. A slow-ish attack and um, sorry, a faster attack and a slow release. And we send all of our drum sounds there. Drums. We then add an EQ. On that EQ, we want 3 dB at 100 hertz. So 3 decibel shelf, low shelf at 100 hertz, and 3 decibels at 10k. Yeah, 10k, so yeah, 10,000 hertz or 10k and 100 hertz. So then that also goes on the, on the bus. So now we have. So that's with it, I'm going to do with and without. See, it sounds fatter and chunkier, yeah? But we haven't sacrificed the original drums. They're still nice and dynamic. We've put it on a parallel chain to make it fat without compressing the original signal. あの、あの、パッとでこう、ダイナロ compression. Compression. So this is called the New York compression technique. あの、New York compression technique to It just helps the drums cut through the mix, they sound fatter, but we've maintained the original form. Because what happens with compression is your waveform initially is nice and round, and this sounds good. And then when you compress, you push the waveform down 
and it turns into this. And dynamically, that's not very good. Because don't forget, in a club, you have compression, you have limiters on the sound system. On radio, you have compressors and limiters. When you send your track off to get mastered, you have compressors, you have limiters. So compression on top of compression is not good. Your music will sound flat and weak. まあ、こう、視覚のような形に近いものにしていくわけですね。そのことによって、まあ、それ結局あのラジオでもサウンドシステムでもどこでもあるいは自分のマスターとラッキーでもコンプレッションをかけるわけですから、あのそれによってさら
the, the front, the attack, and then the release, we've taken off some of the reverb to make it cleaner. ベースで一緒にすることにまあそのリッツ数ちょっと強いあの効果を発揮します。So Now this technique can be used on any drum sound, not just an old breakbeat. I will put this on all of my sounds here. So all of these. Let's go to 140. I'll take it back down. I'm going to put these drum sounds into a group. So they're, in a, they're all in a group now. On that group, I'm going to apply one of the, um, the envelope, the transient shaper, and then I'm going to tighten all of those drums up as a group. So with now we have So without it is like this. So this is without now. Very thick, it's going to cut through the base. The drums have got real power, and we haven't compressed the drums. We've put parallel compression, but we haven't compressed the main signal. I will never process the, the, the sound directly. I will put reverb on ascend. I will put delay on ascend because I want to keep the drums dry and fat. The more reverb or the more you put an effect on a drum sound, the further back in the mix it goes and the weaker it will sound. So if you want the drums to be thick and fat, put everything on ascend. えっと、私基本的にあの、ドラムのサウンドにあの、エフェクトを直で Right, let's put a spring reverb on the snare, like dub style, but we're not going to put it on the snare, we're going to put it underneath the snare. Yeah, with a, under, on the send. Yeah, it's, we're, we're, 
We're not placing the reverb on top of the sound, we're, we're tucking it underneath via a bus or a send. Right, so we're going to try and make a dub This solo. See? So we have the reverb, but not on the sound, under the sound, so it still sounds fat. あの、Spring reverb. we keep adding and we keep adding. So what we have now is we have a pot full of ideas that we can go into. Techno, jungle, drum and bass, dubstep, many different genres from one idea in just, maybe we just done like just over an hour, hour and 30 minutes. Uh, in a second we're going to go into another project and I'm going to quickly show you some other things, but do you want to try uh, Yeah, I uh, know. いわゆるあの、ま、ここで一つあの、ま、こう一つ完成ということですけど、あの、一つアイディアがですね、とまあ、ジャンプベースジャングル、またステップ様々な音を作ることができる、あの、作れる、しかもこれ時間半ぐら
drums alone, all of this is drums. We have control over everything. We can mix it, we can process it. We have 100% control. There are no loops. So if I play you the drums, everything is on its own. Kick. Hi-hat. Rise. Nobody can tell me anything. That's on my creation, so it's unique to me. If, if you use too many samples and loops, you're very restricted to sounding like somebody else because that's their creation. If you make everything from the ground up and sound design and learn the tools, you can make a sound that is unique to you that nobody can touch. あの、すべてこれあの自分の自分で作ってるわけですね。で、他のこの音をサンプリングして作るときはどうしても他の人の音になってしまうわけです。で、聞いたときは他の人の音の感じが出てしまうわけですけれども、これをすべて自分で作
、えー、今、この2つのレコード、2つ目のレコードの、えー、別のレコードからサンプリングしたものを F マイナーにピッチダウン、ピッチを調整して、えー、今。このプロジェクトの中で、えー、他のレコードからサンプリングしているのはこのパーツだけです。基本的に、えー、と自分で作れるものはそれで自分で作る、あるいはリメイクするというような方法をとっていて、まあ、自分で作れない音だけをサンプリングして持ってくると。Okay. A couple more minutes, I'm going to show you a couple more techniques that I use in my tracks. So, in Hindu music, they have what's called the drone.、えーまあ、Hindi Hindi 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 So, what I did was I took the vocal, I applied some reverb with a long reverb tail, I bounced the reverb, the vocal down, and I looped the reverb to get this sound. Vocal and reverb are balanced, and the reverb is looped, 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 and the reverb is looped. It's a constant drone, and that goes through the whole song. Just it just gives it like a consistency, like analog equipment, you'll have the hits. It's just something to give it, I don't know, like make everything come together. あのアナログの機材にヒスノイズが入るようにですねあの一つの、まあ、音全体を通してですねあの一貫性があるようなものですねそういう音の鳴り方をするような試みですよね You can't really hear it if I play everything together あのもし知ってもあのもしこの音がなければそれがないということもまた同時に分かるわけです。OK。And the last thing is the, the string sound is a Chinese zither and I used it in MIDI and I played it myself. ジザという中国の楽器を右で弾いています。Again, no sample. Try to create as much as you can. And then I did the same in F minor with the Chinese flute.
all my MIDI tracks because what I do, when I create my boiling pot, I have to make a decision. I have to say, okay, this is the track. If I leave it all in MIDI, I will keep changing, keep changing, keep changing. So I then bounce everything into audio and commit to the idea. And all of this underneath is my MIDI that I hid. So all of this right now is audio, but this is all of the MIDI that I used to create that audio. So I committed to the idea. Otherwise, I keep changing, keep changing, and never finish the track. えっと、ま、このトラックの Cool, and that is it. Unless you have any questions for me, that is me finished. Does anybody have any questions? Any questions from anybody? Uh, Uh, you mean like you you learned before a music theory of European music, Asian music, ethnic music? Did I learn music theory? Oh no, no. I wish I did. Recently, I tried to teach myself the basics because I think it's really important. Because when I started to make jungle in 1995, 96, we were just taking samples and putting samples together. So there was no need to learn. But I think it's very important to, to learn music theory, for sure. You can just learn the basics of how to uh, learn about scales and the circle of fifths, where you can change um, the, the key you're working in. I think that's very powerful. ま、今はこう、え、基礎理論、基礎についてはえっと勉強してま、こう教えた人としても、ま、そのような感じでえっと、制御が出ると言うわけですね。え、you for me to do what I do. Um, but actually, when you use the right instruments, you can make it sound convincing anyway, but yeah, I, I did a little bit, a little bit. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
it will keep the send track there and put it underneath the audio instead ah. of the MIDI. Drums. Send drums. Sometimes they send the bass, but I don't. I like to keep the bass pure. Uh, you mean when mixing or before mixing? What? Uh, before compression. Um, I do it in the creation stage when I'm doing the boiling pot. Mm -hmm. But on my, um, I've launched an online school called Education and Bass Online. All of what I talked about is in lots of detail. We have um, 80 videos, many tutorials. There's how I made this track, 27 modules of how I made this track, and a 27 module course on drum ball, drum and bass. And it goes into much detail about all of these techniques. So it's education and bass dot online. <laughs> no, it's ま、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その
is very good. Melodyne, have you used it? It basically analyzes the sound. So you can put a pad through it and it will analyze the DNA and it will tell you exactly what note, notes have been played in the pad. It's really cool. メロディーのアンカリングあメロディーがあればですねとあの今パッとやってもどのようなところのノートを叩いているのかというものを分析して教えてくれるいやメロディーメロディーですねあそこはねやまあこれも一つの手段コーディンググッズ？is it party time？let